This is not NASCAR. Fast cars, loud engines, fierce competition, and high stakes racing is an American tradition. Auto racing is a tradition without a race, without a color, without a sexual preference. It's loud and rude, and it's not on a low carb diet. It's a sport with a hungry soul. Before NASCAR, before big contracts, before commercial endorsements, there was street racing. There was a time in this country when just around the corner or down the street, you could find an ambitious driver underneath the hood of a classic muscle car prepping for the weekend. These weekend battles usually involve small crowds and cash wagers. However, the big prize was always the same, bragging rights. What better reason to invest a week's pay under the hood than to shave off an extra tenth of a second? My sister had a 69 Firebird, my brother-in-law had a GTO, my brother Butch had a 427-67 Impala, and my brother-in-law Jerry had a, a 69 Rover. They were big time street racers, and every place we went, man, we were going. So you had all this pavement for like two and a half blocks, city blocks long down the center, and they call that the big alley. But what they would do, they would street race there, when the police would, would come in on one end, They'd all drive out the other end to get away. And they did that just, you know, every single weekend. That's the soul of racing. Passionate people who love cars and competition. The muscle growl of impatient engines. The eagerness of kids, large and small, waiting for the next run. Racing hearts begging for power, smoke, and speed. This is the soul of racing. This is Black Sunday. There is at least one place left in the country where the spirit of soul racing still exists. In 1989, a group of racers from St. Louis decided to create the area's largest bragging rights competition. A competition that brought together street racing legends like Hot Rod Lincoln, Gino Sharp, James Lattimore, Dan Stone, Darrell Williams, George Atchison, Keith Dennis, Charles Willis, and a host of other diehard racers and bikers. This annual event became known as Black Sunday. For over 20 years, these racers have been keeping this small team racing spirit alive. As the event has grown, so has the mission of the racers. Since I was 18 years old, I'm 66 now. Started off street racing, and street racing, went to the racetrack, and once I got to the racetrack, it's been on since then. I didn't want to do no more street racing. Then we got hooked up with, uh, Start the United Black Drag Racers Association, and you know, to uh, kind of inspire kids to. That was a better way than running up down the street. You know, it was a safer way to try to get them to the to the drag strip where they could do it safely. You know, we done. We started a non-profit organization to to help people. We uh, give out scholarships, scholarships to kids that go on to college. We, we help the poor. You know, New Year's, thank, our Thanksgiving. Christmas, we give our Christmas baskets, and we try to help where we can, you know, and that's what we're about, you know. Number one, I got tired of seeing a lot of problems going on out there in the street, you know, people uh, getting hurt for no reason at all. Uh, so just all of us just got together from way back, even before 94, and you know, decided to try to derive a plan or something that would help us come out to the track and, you know, do racing on the afternoons and stuff, and it just blew up all of a sudden. You know, we don't really know why, but we had a large fan base. And they just followed us from the streets to the track. I love it. I ain't a fan like I. I'm like I own this, and so in, in my heart too. I'm like a kid in the candy shop when it comes to drag race. Seriously. Yeah, we come every year. I've been coming for years. Yeah. yeah. And this is why it's at on Sunday, Black Sunday. Come on out. My name is Rick Hobson from Riverdale, Illinois. Come to Black Sunday every year. Come for the enjoyment. Love the racing. I'm a drag racer myself. Hopefully, I come out to win some money today. I've been here, coming here since I was a kid. Uh, probably now, I've been coming to the track over 20 years. I love this type of power. I can't drive it, but I love this type of scene, this type of power. The self smell of burning rubber and stuff is exciting. The organizers of the annual event created the United Black Drag Racers Association, UBDRA, a grassroots nonprofit organization. The organization is dedicated to providing a fun, family-oriented atmosphere for the annual event.
At their core, they hope to encourage safe driving, healthy competition, academic excellence, and community involvement. We do uh, give away quite a few scholarships every year. We also donate to a lot of charities. Um, to date, I'd say we've probably given away as much if someone would have really counted anywhere from two hundred to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars or probably more. My name is James Lattimore. I've been a part of the organization since I was about four years old. Black Sunday is about it's just about racing, having fun, keeping kids off the street and whatnot. Just bring everybody together, have a good time on the weekend. You know, uh, this organization has really been a big part of my life. You know, they gave me a uh, thousand dollar scholarship. I really appreciate them for doing that. Uh, it helped me a lot. Keep me in school. I go to Missouri Western University. People's Health Clinic is here. They've joined us now for about, I'd say the last eight or nine years. We've had them here every year. And they come in, they do blood pressure checks, and um, now they're doing prostate cr uh, screening as well, giving our general information and that kind of stuff. Here's Go get your prostate check. There we go. This year, the United Black Drag Racers Association has been blessed to have the spots, some sponsorship from U.S. Bank. A lot of you may bank with them. If you don't, I'm telling you, you better do this. If you have children, we have the Children's World Play Village back there that has been sponsored by U.S. Bank. And also, uh, you know we do things with kids anyway. They are also the sponsors of the purse for the junior dragsters. So I'd like for you to give a round welcome of applause for U.S. Bank staff. Well, U.S. Bank is here and we are participating in this great event because UBDRA does such great things for the community. And that's what U.S. Bank does. We want to have the opportunity to get out and give back to the community as well. Be a part of some of the worthwhile events that are taking place around St. Louis and Illinois. So with that being said, it's only right that U.S. Bank is here. And we have to move out of the way. But it's only right that U.S. Bank is here and a part of this event. And we do such, um, we have such great support. We have so many different business lines. U.S. Bank just comes out in a group to show their support. And we thank you for that. We thank all of the people who are here in attendance. And we hope that everyone has a great day. From health screenings and community celebrations to scholarships and driver training courses, UBDRA has continued to offer a quality event for the St. Louis area. With the support of U.S. Bank, Black Sunday has been able to attract drivers, vendors, and fans from around the country to support the annual event. Black Sunday, an American tradition, lives on with the support of fans, racers, and sponsors like U.S. Bank. I'm very happy because I've been with U.S. Bank.